Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel, My Project Ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Department Store Management System. So without much delay, we'll begin. Let's first look at the requirements of this code. Firstly, we'll be requiring an IDE or an integrated development environment for running and compiling the source code. Secondly, you will be requiring a text editor. You may use any text editor as per your choice. The recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, an operating system is required. You may use any operating system, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. Now let's look the coding part. Here you have the two standard lines that is include iostream and include conu.h, then the standard line using namespace std. Then you have a constant integer variable, which is initialized to 20. Then we have a class named store in which we have certain integer variables like int amount, which is an array, and the array inputs are also variables like var. Then there, are, there is another array that is subvar, xyz, three variables, and amount one. Then we have again another uh, integer variables as mentioned in the next line. Then we have used the public access specifier, where we have float price and price one. The float is the name of the data type, and price and price one are the variable names. Then we have certain functions like void taken, void total, void old add, void new add, and void display. Then we are actually we have to specify the functions. So let's see what the store function has in hand for us. Here, first we have initialized the variables to certain data. Then we are learning a loop from int x is equal to 0 to x is less than last. Then we are doing an increment to mm -hmm. s and to z. For s, the increment is s is equal to s plus 1 and for z, it is z is equal to z plus 10. Then we are updating the variables. Then let's see the old add function. Here it is asking us to enter the item code and the item cost. After which it is doing a check that if code 1 is double equal to cod of x, that means the array element is x here. Then there is a new add function where it is again asking you the item code and the quantity of item. Also the price of the item. Again, it is updating the array variables to the new data like code one, amount one and price. Next we have the display function. In the display function also we are uh, running an array from x is equal to zero to x is less than last. That is uh, the array is running from zero to last minus one. Then uh, the, the Attributes are displayed, the code, the quantity, and the price are displayed. Then we have the taken function. Here uh, it asks us to enter the product code and the product price. Then we have the total function in which the item code and the item price gets displayed. In the main function, we get a do while loop where it is displayed department store management system and choose from the given list. We have seven different. Uh, Options from where we need to choose our desired option, like show all stored items, add an old item, add a new item, sell an item, total sold, show total items sold and quit. So you have to select any option as per your choice, then you, you will be driven towards that particular section of code. So this was the code. I hope you understood the working of the code. Now we'll be looking at its implementation in a short time. So here you can see after running the code, I got this department store management system and it is asking me to choose from the given list. So what will I do? I'll add an old item. Asking me the item code, I entered item cost. Here it displayed me all the values. Then let me see all the stored items. So I press here one. So this is the all the stored item, the quantity, the price of every item, everything is displayed here. Then let me sell an item here. It is asking me to enter the code. So I entered one, the product price, I entered 50. So I already stored it. So now let me sh uh, show you the total sold. So I enter five, so the so total sale is 50 TK. I hope you understood it. Now let me sell 
I have already sold an item, right? So I'll show you all the stored item. These are all the stored items. So now let me add a new item. So I'm pressing here three. Item code will be six. Quantity of item will be 40. Price of the item will be 300. So this will get stored. So now let me show you the total items. Right. So the total item that is sto stored is 6. Then let me again sell an item. I'm pressing here 4. The product code will be 6. Product price is, I guess I gave it 300. So I sold it. So now let me show you the sold items. I pressed here 6. Just see. Item code 1, item price 50 was already sold. And item code 6 and price 300 was also sold. So this is... Uh, then I press 7 so that I quit from there. So this is actually the code which I already explained to you in the previous part where we were looking at the slides where I discussed the code part. So this is basically the implementation, the practical implementation of the code. So I hope you understood the working of this code. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel to get more interesting project ideas. Thank you and have a great day.